few weeks ago, I moved out most of my aeoniums. I've already got all of them out here now, exposed to the elements, and the reason I did that is because it's their growing season now. And as you can see, most of them, especially the, the ones that used to be dark, their centers are turning green, which means that they are actively in growth right now. I'll be leaving them here for now to gather the rest of my other winter growers like the Graptovirias, the Pachyvirias, everything else. I'll have them grow a bit more before I think about including them in other landscapes. But for now, this whole area is my overflow area. And for the time being, I'm going to work on something else. I'm going to work on the Patreon spot and the first thing that I would be doing is to remove all of the pots again because I want to shift some of the, the stumps at the back and that way I'll be able to properly stage the Patreon plants. So right now there's lots of space in between of them and I think it would be better if they would be a bit closer together. There would not be a problem with clumps because they are inside pots anyway, so there should be enough space. I should get ready. I'm going to wear some boots this time because it has been raining for the past few days. Uh, the soil is still a bit muddy. Besides, I wouldn't want to drop anything at my feet, so better safe than sorry. Here's what I want to do. As you can see, I'm surrounded by some stumps, four stumps, and I would like them to be closer together. And to do that, I would need to push them all the way to the back 
and crush them together so I'll be reducing the gaps between each stop the end result is that I would also have lots of space in the front and that will give me more space in case I want to go with more than just four plants I want to do a tapestry in front of the whole Patreon shrine either that or I could add some steps much in the same way as I did on the other side but right now since I have all of these plants I'm leaning towards doing a tapestry now with all of that in mind let's get moving look a lot there's a lot of space around which gives it a lot of negative space a lot of breathing room doesn't look so cramped and because of that I'm now thinking that maybe as you can see there's some space on the flanks I could probably use some shallow large shallow bowls there's some one here one here one here you know surrounding it and I could make all sorts of clumps or all sorts of arrangements with it but the thing is I've got these two large spots here, another two here, and one more here, making them a total of five. And I've only got four stumps, which means there's a mismatch. I'm going to have to think about that, but I'm liking the idea of the bowls though. We'll see. But until then, I'm going to leave this as is. And I'll keep looking at it every day until I come up with an idea that I like.
And while that's happening, I'm going to keep these plants here. That way, I don't have to shift them back and forth. Because that's a waste of time. Big thanks to Oscarino, Snap Kui, Camille Narvaez, Dorian Ninotti, Linda, and everyone else who went out of their way to pledge to my Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. This would not be possible without your help. The other cool thing here is that I went over the 10 patrons mark over the weekend and as of recording I'm now up to 11 patrons. This is such a good feeling because it tells me that I'm doing something right. So I thank all of you so much and I hope that even more would come to support. And because of that, I started uploading 4K resolution desktop wallpapers. You could see them in my Patreon feed and it's available to all patrons no matter how big or small your pledge is. Now let's resume. After doing a bit more cleanup on this area, you would see that on the far right side over there, there's lots of space here, especially if I went and removed all of those spots right there. And this tells me that I could probably fit the fifth pot over there, the fifth Patreon pot. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create some sort of pedestal for it. It doesn't necessarily have to be a tree stump like the rest of them. And I just remember that I have a bunch of rocks out in the front. Maybe I could use them, just stack them on top of each other. Especially the large brown ones, because they have a similar color, the tree stumps. So, let's go. And look, this part's clear now. I've done a lot of work over the weekend. And I think that pile of white rocks over here would take me about another day or so. So, pretty much by next weekend, this whole driveway would be clear. Now, these are the large brown rocks that I have been talking about. I'm going to use them as a pedestal. And to do that, I'm just going to pile them on top of each other to create a, a stand or a raised to create a pedestal out of stone and I think the look would complement all of those tree stumps so let's get right to it I'm just doing this by hand because I'm going to pick out the larger ones I'm not sure if that's enough, but I'll run with this for now. Maybe one more.
good so far, eh? But I'm thinking just to maintain consistency because I like what happened here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get grab more of those rocks and just line them around the base of the stumps. I think it makes a good border or edge and it definitely highlights this. Let's go do that. it like this for now as you can see all five pots are here I managed to fit them in the area and in the future episodes I'll be thinking about what I'll be doing with all of this space I've got a few ideas in my head but the main one right now is using bowls and to help you visualize let me grab one of my plastic bowls so here's one this is 40 centimeters in diameter, which is about just a bit over 16 inches. And size-wise, relative to all of these other plants and pots here, I think something slightly bigger than this would be a good complement. So I'm looking for bowls in the 45 to 50 centimeter range, and it would be perfect for this pot. Now, if you would imagine, I had a bunch of pots bunch of bowls lining this area one here 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 and here I think that would be a very strong look for this area and I personally love seeing lots of circles all of these bowls these pots they form nice circles so during my free time I'll be looking around various shops and see what my options for pots and bowls are and I'll be filling up this space and to end this video, I'm going to clean up these rocks because as you can see, they're quite dirty, they're quite muddy. And all I need to do is just to blast them with some water. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.